Good morning children. Now that you know about adolescence and puberty, let us understand more about the changes that happen in girls. We already know in females, ovaries grow larger and eggs begin to mature on the onset of puberty. Also, ovaries start releasing mature eggs. In females, the reproductive phase of the life begins at puberty that is the age of 10 to 12 years of age and generally last till the age of approximately 45 to 50 years. The ova begin to mature with the onset of puberty. One ovum matures and it is released by one of the ovaries once in about 28 to 30 days. During this period, the wall of the uterus becomes thick so as to receive the egg. In case it is fertilized and begins to develop. This results in pregnancy. If fertilization does not occur, the released egg and the thickened lining of the uterus along with its blood vessels are shed off. This causes bleeding in women which is called menstruation. Menstruation occurs once in about 28 to 30 days. The first menstrual flow begins at puberty and it is termed menarche. At 45 to 50 years of age, the menstrual cycle stops. Stoppage of menstruation is termed menopause. Initially, menstrual cycle may be irregular. It may take some time to become regular. So now you know why menstruation or periods every month is important for you. Girls should take special care of cleanliness during the time of menstrual flow. For this, they should wear clean sanitary napkins or homemade napkins. They should keep track of their menstrual cycle and be prepared for the onset of menstruation. You might be knowing that in our country, the legal age for marriage is 18 years for girls and 21 years for boys. So, now that you know about adolescence and puberty, it must be clear to you why teenage mothers are not mentally or physically prepared for motherhood because their body is still growing up and developing. So, early marriage and motherhood can cause health problems in the mother as well as in the child. Not just physical burden, it is also an emotional burden for young women because this reduces their employment opportunities and they may face mental agony at this early age as they are not ready for the responsibilities of motherhood. So say no to child marriage. So as we saw, adolescence is not only a time of vulnerability, it is also an age of opportunity. This is especially true when it comes to adolescent girls. We know that the more education a girl receives, the more likely she is to postpone marriage and motherhood and more likely it is that in future her children will be healthier and better educated. So, as adolescent learners, you should know there is no reason to feel insecure or shy about the changes because these changes are a natural part of growing up. So that was all for today. Bye bye children.